Hi, and my name is Bridget, and this is Beauty Goddess Bridget <laughs> channel on YouTube. And welcome if you are new to my channel, and I hope you enjoy the content. And if you do, please subscribe, hit the like button on the video, share, turn on the notifications, all that, all that rigmarole. <laughs> Everybody kind of knows what it is. A little about me, I am 61 years old and I am certainly not afraid of color in my makeup. So, uh, ladies, especially those of you that are over 50, this might be just the place for you. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm a little bit on the crazy side. Uh, I'm also very brave because I do everything in one take and I don't do any editing. So, you never know what you're going to end up with here. <laughs> now... Uh, today is a special day because I'm doing a collaboration with Not Your Basic Stuff, and uh, we have decided to do uh, kind of a blast from the past, not really a blast from the past, but because uh, it's not that far in the past, maybe a year, maybe, uh, but <laughs> we decided that uh, we would do a palette that they should bring back, and it is this one, Club Nebula from Kaleidos. Now, this is just the box that it came in, that it was packed in, and I thought this is a beautiful box. The palette, no, it's not that large, but um, it's a beautiful box. Um, it, it is a sturdy, pretty sturdy box. Mine's a little bit rough right now because um, I have two pit bulls. One of them likes to get in my makeup. Yeah. <laughs> this thing. But anyway, this came with a card that says, oh, sold it up, upside down, Club Nebula Invitation. You're invited to join us for an unforgettable banquet of color. On menu is a diverse curation of the finest rare shades in the universe. And I suppose that they are. And this is the box inside the box. <laughs> and then the palette's inside here. So I do tend to hang on to my my uh, cases for my palettes because I think it helps keep the palettes themselves from getting all dinged up badly. So the one thing I like about this one is it's got the whole big box first. So there's that. But anyway, this is the color story. Isn't it gorgeous? I love these colors. And the colors that we did on the random picker today were this one. Rock, rock hopper. This kind of a brownish. I'm not sure what color that is. Let's watch it here in a minute for you. Gravity, which is this kind of neon. Oops, <laughs> this neon green color here. And then we have Cylon, which is the red one right next. This kind of burgundy next to the the rock hopper. And then we have a Samus. Samus. Anyway, it's kind of this orangey color here. And then the only shimmer <laughs> that we've got is Nova. So let me go ahead and swatch those out for you so you can see what color they are. And I'll start with the first one, which is Raw Copper. And then Gravity, which is the green, kind of cerise colored. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And then uh, a Cylon, which is the burgundy-ish, next to rock bottom. Those are almost the same color. <laughs> really dark. Um, and then we have the Samus. Four mats. And then one shimmer. Now this shimmer, yeah, it was Nova. The shimmer we've got here is more like one to go on top of other colors rather than to be worn alone. So uh, that's how I'm going to use that. So those are the five colors that we have. Yay. <laughs> Let me double check my, my color, make sure I got all the, the right colors. Duh. <laughs> because um, my universe people. 
I do tend to forget stuff like that. So, but I think I got all, all the right colors. Yes, I did. I did, I did. Okay. And so, having said all of that, let's go ahead and get started. Yay, five colors. And let me start first. My Natona Denasha primer. You know what, let me pull my hair back into ponytail before I start because otherwise I'll be getting stuff in my hair. <laughs> Y'all like that eyeshadow on my forehead? <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's just, yeah. Well, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks like a bruise. I'll tell everybody that Jay's been beating on me. Nobody believe it, but, you know. Well, his mom might, but. My mom won't. <laughs> he, he is such a character. And, uh. And he's such a liar. He tells these stories that are just. Well, they're pretty extraordinary. <laughs> to say the least. And he's so convincing. He does it all with such a straight face, and he is just so convincing. And it's kind of like, dude, don't be telling people that, because uh, they don't believe you. Like, he tells people that I feed him out of the blue Tupperware. The blue Tupperware is the trash can. And he tells them that he particularly likes when I make macaroni and cheese out of the blue Tupperware, and there's coffee grounds in it. I'm going to tell you, people are going to start believing that stuff. And he still continues to tell people that. Uh, one time my parents came over and he had a piece of paper in his hands and he was standing behind me. And my dad just started laughing. And my mom reached around me to knock him upside the head. You know, like kind of like an Italian would do. And uh, I turned around and he was holding this piece of paper that said, Help, call police! <laughs> yeah, that's my life, people. And that's my man. And and he does this stuff all the time. Like it's just, you know, it's no big deal. Let me see if I can, uh, well, that's just, just going to drive me crazy. Up here. <laughs> it's really going to drive me crazy. Let's see if I can get it at least down some. Well, no. Well, okay. I will cover it up with uh, more foundation later. Before I walk out the door, I don't know, maybe if I let my hair down, you wouldn't even see it because of where it's at. Anyway, all right, so uh, those are the five colors. And I think I'm going to start with rock bottom as the base and then go from there. So I'm going to use my brand new Ruffer, best brushes ever, Ruffer number 12. Uh, they were having a Black Friday sale where all their brushes were on sale for 25% off. I don't know if it's still going on, but you might go check <laughs> if, if you really want these. Okay. Here's Rock Hopper. It's kind of a deep, I don't know, a deep, really dark, like a smoky taupe or something. It really, it, it's very, very dark. Okay, so... Let's start here. I'm not going to use too much of this color because, well, to be true, truth be told, I don't really like this color. But it's what she drew, so this is this is one of maybe two colors in the whole palette that I don't care too much for. So I'll just use that one kind of as a base, and then I'll build up from there. But what I am going to do, definitely, is I think I'm going to put that topper color, that Nova, on top of it. Maybe that'll make it a little bit more appealing. Maybe it won't. Anyway. Yeah, Jay, uh, Jay and his stories. Let me tell you, that man, when he was in grade school, he, uh, he told his teacher that his dog was sick or died or something. And his teacher called his mom to, to you know, talk to him about 
talk to her about it and how it was affecting him. They don't even have a dog. <laughs> that's uh, that's just how he how he does things. Yeah, she is in here. Four dog breath. Yeah, uh, four dog breath is under my desk here. So, uh, when we were traveling back from New Jersey one time, my mom texted me while I was driving in Kansas City, and so I asked him to check the phone and to talk to, you know, answer her. And he told her that we were in a stolen car, and we were hiding from police. <laughs> Yeah. Mind you, she never caught on that I wasn't doing the responding on that because maybe I was driving. <laughs> and um, then uh, he said that we were, that they had helicopters out. We were hiding under a bridge. <laughs> yeah, it got pretty, got pretty crazy at that point. Uh, and that's just... Yeah. So that's just how he that's just how he operates. And today he's home early because Miss Thang needs to be taken to the vet. And so he's here to take her. So that's the only reason he's home. <laughs> of course, when he's here, he wants he wants people to call the police. So. <laughs> I'm trying to get this to kind of balance out color wise. So. All right. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Athena, come here. Get out of poor dog breath. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Get back. And then. I will grab you. Come on. Ah. My universe, people. Come on. And then uh, now I'm going into Cylon, which is kind of a dark burgundy no, color. We're going to have that here. Remember, oh, that's pretty. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very nice. I don't know why she's being so crazy today. Maybe she knows that you're taking her. <laughs> she knows it's time. <laughs> yeah, she's um, he's putting her in her service service dog in training vest and leash and then she's got a um, a no pull harness she hates that no pull harness and he's like well if you wouldn't pull act like a dumbass you wouldn't have to have it that's true but it doesn't muzzle her it doesn't really hurt her she just doesn't like it pulls her head down if she does it if she yeah if she um, um, oh. sorry. Okay, what else do we have here? The green, okay. Um, 120, I think. I'll find out. I'll text you before. I'm almost done. Oh, you are? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. All right. We're going to go in with that. Uh, Samus? <laughs> no. 
That's almost a Halloween look here with this orange. Just saying. I will have Steph's page linked down below so that if uh, if you've never been to her page, you can find it easier. I'll have a, a link to her video. And uh, she is also one that likes a lot of color. She's uh, younger than I am. She's I'm saying her 30s. I could be lying to you, but I think she's in her 30s. See in just a little bit. Oh, you're not running away. Ah, okay. It is a beautiful day today in Lawton. I mean, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's, in it's in the 70s, which is a little unusual this late in November, but I'll take it because I like it when it's warm. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the... Um, Gravity, which is that bright neon green. We're going to take it along here. Blend it in. No, blending is, uh, blending is, you know, back when I was first learning to do makeup, back in the early 70s, early to mid 70s, Blending wasn't a thing. Why? Because there was like one color of eyeshadow. Blue. <laughs> Ever seen Mimi on the Drew Carey show? Yeah, she kind of reminds me of somebody from the 60s. Um, just saying. And now we've got all these fabulous colors and and all these fabulous techniques on blending and uh, uh, post bang. And it's just so nice to have new color a lot of colors and a lot of different looks that can be created and uh, people creating uh, butterflies and whatever on their face with makeup i just love it i love it love it love it so so far so good looks like i got this side a little bit brighter <laughs> yeah, excitement in my house today. Yeah, everybody wants to go with the dog to the vet. <laughs> yeah, she, she's, um, at first we thought that she maybe had dermatectic range, uh, mange, because she was losing hair and splotches and she was just not having a good time. And took her to the vet and he said that she's having some kind of allergic reaction to something probably soybean meal in food really okay so <clears throat> if you if you get dog food and it's got that in it you might want to reconsider uh, the kind of food you got so yeah, let's go back with this one I'm going to deepen this up just a little bit. Go back into this uh, uh, frog hopper. Oh, that's pretty. Since I have hooded eyes, I'm so accustomed to going up a little bit higher on my eyebrow than what a lot of people are. You know, most people can just do their eyelids and be just fine. Oh, not me. Um, but when I was in the hospital with COVID, I ended up losing a considerable amount of weight before I got out of the hospital and came home. I lost about um, 60 pounds, maybe 70. And uh, <laughs> I don't recommend the COVID diet. <clears throat> uh, it's just rough. But I was eating uh, what I would call normal meals. I mean, uh, I wasn't not eating just because uh, I was in the hospital or anything because I was sick. I was eating full meals. And um, so I'm not, I'm, you know, you. I don't know why I lost weight, so much weight. 
I really don't. I, I wish I knew why I ended up losing so much weight. But, you know, it is what it is. You, you, I'll take it. <laughs> I need to lose some weight. I think probably they got me started back on Synthroid. And I think probably that um, that kicked my metabolism into gear, high gear maybe, because of the um, it being for your thyroid. So, and I had been off of it for a while, and I think maybe that's why I ended up losing so much weight is because they got me back on there. Got me back on the Synthroid. synthroid. I'm having trouble talking today. Um, I don't know that for a fact, but that's that's my guess. Pardon me for a moment. But uh, anyway, so I came home about 70 pounds lighter and all my clothes are falling off. I mean, it's like my jeans just, they won't stay up. I don't know if I've necessarily got the money <laughs> to replace all my freaking clothes. So I'm just saying. Be careful. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. Brighten this up just a little bit more. Oh, yeah. I'm not unhappy with that. Nope. 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 Not at all. Okay. I mean... My ref for number two out, which is a packing. It's a packing brush, but I like it because it's real thin. It's not very wide. It's thin. And it gets gets it lets me do under my eyes pretty well because it is so thin. And I am going to start with this uh Cylon, which is the burgundy, and I think that's what I'm gonna use mostly. That's my primary color under my eyes. What do you guys think? Not too bad, huh? I like it. You know, when I first started seeing people use eyeshadow underneath, like like here, and some of them use pretty wide streak down there, much wider than I do, um, like um, Annette, and with Annette's makeup corner, she she does a little bit of a wider streak underneath her eyes. Um, it reminded me so much of the the group from the '70s. Uh, how many of you remember uh, watching ABBA? <laughs> Agnetha, she always had a lot of, um, mostly with her, it was just the blue, <laughs> but she had a pretty wide streak under her eye for that. I always just thought that that was so cool. And Annette is from kind of that same area. She is from uh, Norway. She is Norwegian in origin. She was actually born there. And, uh, well, that sounds like something's outside in the backyard. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. All right, and now let's use this packer brush to put Nova on top of everything to kind of sparkle it out. Because it's so pretty. <laughs> well, that may be one that I need more on my, uh, might need to do that on my finger. We'll see. We'll see. So, I always thought it reminded me of the group ABBA and how Agnetha wore her makeup for the group. Can you guys see that? Oh, that's pretty. That's 
that's very pretty, actually. And that is Nova. Just very sheer, but man, it's got some sparkle to it. It's got some shine. And then oh, we're just gonna take him spot some of that in the corner. I don't know why my eyes right here are so dark. Looks kinda like I've had nasal surgery or something. And I can't cover it with, with makeup. It just doesn't want to stay colored, you know, covered over. Yay me. <laughs> Not really so much, but yeah, yay me. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and start with um, eyeliner. And I've got uh, Cursed Cosmetics and I've got the black color. I think it's called Midnight. Oh, Fury. called Fury, but it's black. And I'm not going to do false lashes today. I'm not big on false lashes. That's just me. Um, maybe for glam picks or something. Or maybe for my Instagram photos. But I don't even wear them all the time on my Instagram photos. If you really, really love me, then you should also follow me on Facebook. Because on Facebook, I do lives pretty regularly. And I give away stuff from time to time. Such as tomorrow, I'll be giving away a good chunk of items. So, just saying. No, tonight. I guess tonight I'll be giving away some stuff. But I've got some more stuff. I've got a lot of items that I'm going to be giving away. And then I've got a shop my stash thing that I'm going to do. And so everything on that is going to be $1 to $5 plus shipping. So, yeah, you might can pick up some, some cool new makeup or some great stocking stuffers for family and friends. Uh, just saying. All of the stuff is new. The the shop mustache is all new. Well, all of it's new, actually, even the stuff I give away. Uh, never opened except maybe to check the colors. Check the color scheme on it. But otherwise unopened. Hmm. Definitely unused, not touched. I, uh, I used to swatch, swatch them out uh, for my, the people who were watching, but I don't even do that since I had COVID. I don't have COVID now. I am, uh, for all intents and purposes, as good as I'm going to get from, I had two strains. Um, <laughs> I came home from the hospital on she-Hulk levels of steroids. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, <laughs> all I'm going to say is, yeah, <laughs> that's where I was. I have an eyeliner pencil here that uh, is just about the same color as the topper. So I'm going to use that on my waterline. That's not very neon-y like I thought it would be. But anyway, on my Facebook page, I'll be giving away stuff uh, tonight. I'll have a giveaway. And then when I get the rest of the stuff ready to go, I'll have the next giveaway. And then when I get my shop, my stash, pictures, and everything ready to go. I guess it is showing up. Um, 
then I'll go ahead and do that. Get those up and ready to go. And I just think that, you know, I'm a very giving person. You know, if you ask me for it, instead of like try to steal it from me, I'll probably give it to you. I'm just, I'm just that way. Um, I understand that, you know, especially like right now, times are tough for people. You know, everybody's struggling. And if I can help someone out, I will. That's just me. That's just how I am. I've always been that way. Um, and I, I try to do it without judgment. Um, not because I'm some great Christian or anything. Um, because I'm not. But uh, just because I don't think judging people who may be in a bad situation through no fault of their own is ridiculous. Um, I've had my own problems in life. My own situations that have come up that have left me uh, in pretty dire straits. And so I, I get that. So I, I don't, that's why I give away so much stuff. As a matter of fact, um, a few months ago, I was talking with the, uh, the owner of Nomad Cosmetics and uh, was tell, telling her that I was getting ready to ship off a bunch of stuff. We were just having a conversation. I wasn't doing it for any nefarious reasons or whatever. Um, and I told her I was getting ready to donate a whole bunch of stuff that I had. And I did donate a lot of stuff. Uh, to the women's shelter here, the Battered Women's Shelter, because when those women leave their partner, and even even men that are in those situations, when when they leave, that is the most dangerous time in the relationship is when they try to leave, because that's when the partner will go crazy, you know, if I can't have you, nobody can, uh, kind of thing. And I know this because I was in a similar relationship at one time in my life and a lot of times they're lucky to leave with their life and what clothes they've got on their back so I made up a but was gonna make up a whole bunch of boxes with uh, makeup that I got from Ipsy and BoxyCharm and whatever and donate to those ladies in the shelter to give them a sense you know if they if they had a job interview or something they'd want to look nice you know and so I figured if I can get them something you know a little bit of kindness and a little bit of happiness then that would be good that would be good for them and so I made up these boxes and I got some makeup brushes not expensive ones I just got some kind of cheap ones on Amazon and I made up these boxes and I delivered the boxes well, I had them delivered because I was still pretty damn sick at the time. Uh, but I had the boxes delivered to the shelter um, after I'd sent over a questionnaire that wouldn't give me any information about the, the person who was receiving the box as far as like name or anything. And I told the, the coordinator to just, you know, assign it a number and have them fill out the questionnaire. Uh, assign them a number and then you know get the questionnaires back to me and that's what she did and so I got those got those ready to go and you know I didn't ask anything like um, if they were black or Native American or well I guess I should say African American but I didn't ask uh, for any information like that the only things that I asked were their complexion, like were they light, medium, dark, um, and I asked their age because older women have different needs than younger women. So, you know, older women are more likely to need moisturizers, for example. Um, and so I asked them, I just sent this questionnaire over there, and um, I asked if they wanted any, any lessons on makeup applications and a couple of them did but I asked the the shelter director if I but due to privacy reasons not so much concerns that I would do anything but privacy reasons they didn't want anybody coming to the shelter blah blah I was even like well you know can can we meet up 
in your offices or something. They never got back to me for that. So I feel sorry, sorry about those ladies, but I don't know. I did have my information on there for them to contact me. So uh, they can find me on Facebook or whatever. This is, uh, I think this is BH Cosmetics liquid. Yes. BH Cosmetics liquid lipstick. And I have no idea what color it is. And I can't read it because I'm half blind. So it's some kind of pink. <laughs> I got it on sale. And I don't think they have these anymore. Do they have some on sale? Yeah, I do. I think they do still have some of the liquid lipsticks on sale. But I don't know what colors they were. Okay, so here is the finished look. And let me. And what do you think? Do you like the look? Do you like how it turned out? Um, if you do, great. I'd love to have you follow me for more tips and tricks. I tried to. Uh, keep it reasonable because a lot of women are uh, a lot of older women are a little bit nervous about trying color uh, because they've always been told women over 50 should not wear anything too bright you should wear muted colors and neutrals <laughs> I, I bought I bought this stuff I'm gonna use it and I don't care what color it is <laughs> I like the color and it's going on my face if you don't like it well you know which one of my bills are you paying none well then you know you have no say. That's my, that's how I rock my world. <laughs> I don't care who's saying what, you know. Oh, you look like a clown. Yeah, which one of my bills are you paying? <laughs> I get paid quite well to be a clown. It works for some people. I'm not a clown, actually, but, I mean, you know, it does work for some people. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, here's the palette. And this is one, this is uh, Club Nebula. This was Kaleidos' collaboration with Angela Nikvist. Uh, she is from Sweden and she's absolutely adorable. She's very, very friendly and she is fixing to move to Texas. So she'll be my neighbor, sort of. <laughs> she's not going to be that far. She's going to be like six hours down the road from me. So maybe I get to go meet her. I'm just saying, I would, I would like to. But this was her collaboration with Kaleidos. I absolutely love it. They only did uh, one or two batches of it. And then it went away. So this is one that both Steph and I feel like they should have kept or bring back. Make it permanent. Because it's beautiful. And it's easy to work with. And it doesn't irritate my eyes. I've got kind of sensitive eyes and a lot of, uh, you know, like Beauty Bay. A lot of Beauty Bay's products irritate my eyes really bad this doesn't the this uh, it blends like a dream as you can see it's just absolutely beautiful i love it but anyway you know, club nebula isn't that beautiful i love this i loved this palette and i loved it when it came out i was determined i was going to get it and um there um, there's a lot of those collabs that i miss out on i missed uh annette's menagerie collab and I missed her Odin's Eye collab. And I think it sold out already. I was going to get up Black Friday. Or Cyber Monday or whenever. And uh, Yeah, that didn't work out for me. But anyway, uh, I would love for you to stick around and stay on my channel. And as always, if you can't be good, be careful. And if you can't make good decisions, they carry bail money because... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, if you're like me, you're going to need it. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.